I think I have AI coding tool fatigue. It feels like there is a new AI coding tool coming out every week. Just when you think you found the best one and you learn it and feel like you're getting the hang of it, another one comes out and the cycle starts again. So to save you time and pain, today I want to give you a quick overview of Cursor CLI, Open Code, Cloud Code, Codex CLI, and AMP Code, five of the most popular and hyped AI coding tools out there. This way you can know the differences between them as well as their pros and cons so you can decide which one is the best for you. All the tools in today's video are CLI tools. They work in your terminal. Most of them do have plugins for your IDE that gives you a better integration, but we're not going to cover each one of their plugins in this video. I actually really like the fact that they are all CLI tools because first of all, I like using my terminal. And second, I can switch between them easily without having to change the way I work in my IDE. I gotta say that originally this video was planned to review only three tools, open code, cloud code, and amp code. And that is because to be honest, Cursor CLI and Codex CLI are not as good yet. I included them because they're getting popular and hyped, but after trying them out, there isn't that much to say. Cursor CLI is pretty new and currently in beta. It works fine, I guess. It is just that if you use Cloud Code before, it feels like a step back in terms of features. The same goes for Codex CLI. The good thing about Cursor CLI is that if you're already paying for Cursor, you can use Cursor CLI at no extra cost. So if you have never tried a CLI coding tool before, it is the perfect way to start and see how you like running a coding tool from your terminal. It does count towards your usage limits though. Something to keep in mind. About Codex CLI, what blows my mind is that the gap between OpenAI and Entropic is not that big in terms of AI models. But in terms of CLI tools, it's huge. I can't understand why OpenAI is so far behind compared to Anthropic in terms of cloud code versus Codex CLI. There is just no comparison. Having said that, there are three things I like about Codex CLI. First is the slash limits command. When it's available, the slash limits command shows you how far you are from reaching the hourly and weekly usage limits of your subscription, which is pretty cool and makes everything more transparent, something that is missing from cloud code. The second thing is that for now, the only way to to use the new GPT-5 Codex model, which is insanely good, is through Codex CLI. Maybe later, when they make the GPT-5 Codex model available through the API, other tools will be able to use it. But for now, Codex CLI is the only one that has it. And the third thing is that Codex CLI is improving very fast. I think OpenAI realized how far behind they are, and they're working hard to catch up. If you have a ChatGPT Plus subscription, you can use Codex CLI at no extra cost, which again is a pretty sweet deal. Now, on to Cloud Code. I I like Cloud Code so much that I made a whole video about it. So go and check it out if you want to see a deep dive in its features and how to use it. What I did not mention in that video though, because I don't know if it wasn't released or if I didn't discover it back then, are sub agents and output styles, which are really, really, really cool. Output styles basically let you customize how Cloud Code answers your requests. There is the default style, the explanatory style, and the learning style. By default, Cloud Code uses the default style in which it modifies the code and tells you what it did. But since you are a professional and you care about code quality and you don't just accept everything Cloud Code does without reviewing it, you can use the explanatory style. With the explanatory style, Cloud Code will give you insights while it is generating code, where it explains why it is doing what it is doing and the reasons behind its choices. My favorite one though is the learning style. In this mode, Cloud Code will not only give you insights, but it will also leave to-do comments in your code for you to implement. This means your brain does not rot out in all its thinking to the AI. And instead, you learn by doing, using the AI for the boring tasks so that you can focus on the important and strategic parts of your code. You can even create your own custom output styles if you want. Now, sub-agents in Cloud Code have been a game changer for me. Sub-agents are specialized AI assistants that Cloud Code can delegate tasks to. If you're working on a big feature and you ask Cloud Code for help, instead of trying to do everything itself, Cloud Code can say, hey, let me call my code reviewer sub-agent to check this, or I will have my debugger agent to look at this error. Each sub-agent has its own personality, its own tools, and most importantly, its own context window. This means your main conversation stays clean and focused while the sub-agent goes off and does some specialized work. You can create your own custom sub-agents too. Just run slash agents and you can create a new sub-agent with a custom system prompt and specific tools. You can even choose which AI model each sub-agent uses. After creating a sub-agent, Cloud Code will use it proactively. That means you don't have to tell it to use the debugger agent directly. Cloud will automatically delegate when it makes sense. This is huge because this 
This means you can have multiple AIs working on separate tasks without polluting your main context or confusing the conversation. It may not look like much, but once you take a task that you ask Claude Code to do often and you turn it into a sub agent, you will see how much time it saves you and how it keeps the conversation clean and focused. Now, let's talk about Open Code. Open Code is replacing Claude Code for me. It does everything Claude Code does commands, sub agents, rules, themes, and more. What makes it different from any other tool in this list is that it supports multiple AI models, more than 75 actually. With Open Code, you bring your own API key. So if you want to use the latest coding model from Alibaba, as long as you have the API key, you can use it. It also supports Claude and GitHub Copilot logins. So if you're already paying for Claude Code or GitHub Copilot, you can try Open Code at no extra cost. Another thing that I like about it is that it has the slash undo and slash redo command to quickly undo and redo changes made by the AI. This saves me so much time when the AI does something I don't like. Instead of having to manually undo or asking the AI to undo, I can just use the slash undo command. They also launched Open Code Zen, which is pretty clever. There are hundreds of AI models. Only a few are good for coding, and even the good ones perform differently depending on the provider. Open Code Zen fixes this. The Open Code team tested tons of models and figured out which providers serve them best and which ones are the best for coding. So instead of paying to OpenAI or Anthropic, you pay to Open Code. They sell you tokens at a cost, but you get to use the best models configured for you. You can also try other cool models like Kimi K2 or Quen3 Coder without having to get an API key. They also have some models that are free to use. At the time of recording this video, Grog Code Fast 1 and Code Supernova are free to use because they are new models and the companies are trying to get usage data. The last super cool thing I want to share about Open Code is that you can share your Open Code conversations. Just run the slash share command and you can get a link to share your conversation with others. This is especially useful when you're working with a team. Also, if you change your mind, you can run slash on share and the link will stop to work. Lastly, the Open Code TUI terminal user interface is really, really, really nice. And last but definitely not least is AMP Code, the most beautiful and polished CLI tool in this list that I wish I had the money to use more. AMP Code is so, so, so good, but so, so, so expensive. I don't understand why AMP Code is so good compared to Cloud Code because it uses Cloud Sonnet 4, which in theory is the same model that Cloud Code uses. Yet, the difference in the quality of the results is night and day. Some people have mentioned that Anthropic will sort of dumb down their models when they are experiencing high traffic. And I think it may be because of that, that the results with AMP code are so, so good compared to Cloud Code. No joke, I spent a bit more than 20 minutes talking with Cloud Code about an important piece of code and some architectural choices I had to make for the second startup in my 12 startups in 12 month challenge. And it could not give me a good answer. I loaded up on AMP code credits. And in a couple of minutes, I had my answer, explanations, and even code that worked at once. And we are not talking about a React component. We're talking about a queue system, video compression, serving, caching, and more. And I know I'm not alone in this. Many people have said that they find it hard to believe that AMP code uses the same model as Cloud Code. It is that good. A feature I like about AMP code that makes it even more expensive, sadly, is the Oracle. The Oracle is an even more powerful AI model, currently OpenAI's O3, that you can use when you need complex reasoning. 10 out of 10 times, the Oracle has given me exactly what I needed. Seriously, AMP code feels like driving a luxury car. I only have good things to say about it, apart from how expensive it is. And this video isn't sponsored by AMP code but I wish it was. So that's the end of the list. Now the question is, which one should you use? If you have never used a CLI coding tool before and you are already paying for ChatGPT+, Plus, then try Codex CLI. If you have never used a CLI coding tool before and you're already paying for Cursor, then try Cursor CLI. If you're paying for GitHub Copilot, try Open Code with your GitHub login. You'll be amazed. If you're paying for Cloud, try Cloud Code or skip it and use your Cloud subscription with Open Code. If you're not paying for anything currently or want to move on from Cursor CLI, CLI or Codex CLI, you can't go wrong with Cloud Code or Open Code. A Cloud Max subscription will be cheaper than Open Code using your own API key, depending on how much you use Cloud Code. But just know that it is a known thing that Anthropic will dumb down the model sometimes. And in any case, if you want to feel the power of the pure, raw, unadulterated AI, try AMP Code. 
For me, personally, I have a Cloud Max subscription and I use it through Open Code, which is what I use for the day-to-day -day work. And when I'm stuck somewhere or when I want to tackle a big problem, I use AMP Code. Of course, all of these tools are only as good as the prompt you give them. If you don't spend time clarifying your instructions and providing context, you're not going to get good results no matter what tool you use. Let me know in the comments which tool you're going to try first or which one you're using already. Thank you for watching as always. Onyana, kamsahago, sanahamida. See you on the next one. Dambu bye-bye.